Hey everyone, it's David. Today we will be collecting seed from some Trichocereus cactus that I hybridized. The plant that I'm collecting the fruit from is a cultivar named Epicenter. It has large, striking flowers I've shown in previous videos. I used pollen from a yellow-flowered Trichocereus brandiflorus to pollinate this plant. Three fruit soon formed, and I left them on the plant for a couple months to ripen. It was a sure sign that the seeds were ready when some fruit started to burst open on their own. The fruit also looks pretty tasty, so I want to harvest them before another creature spots them. So let's get started and I'll show you how I'm collecting the seed. Before I start, I want to give this cactus fruit a try. Cactus fruit is edible, and this one looks pretty good. Mmm. To start, I'll remove all of the cactus fruit that contains the seeds into this large bowl. I'll do this with all of the fruit and use water to get as many seeds as I can into the bowl. This fruit looks especially nice. Next year, I may pollinate this cactus again, just so I can collect these fruit to eat. I bet my parrots would also love to eat these. Now that I have all of the seeds in the bowl, I'm going to use my hands to try to separate all of the seeds from the fruit. This will take a while, so I'll speed this part up, but I'm basically just rubbing the seeds between my hands. I'm now using the sieve to drain the water from the seeds. I'll use the water pressure to try to separate more fruit from the seeds. Some seed will make it through the sieve, but the far majority won't. I then use a paper towel to pick up the seeds, and I'll set them aside to dry. I try to make sure that the seeds are spread out in a single layer so that they dry thoroughly. I'll repeat this process until I've picked up all the seeds. I only use this method of cleaning the cactus seed with water with larger fruit cactus like this Trichocereus. When a cactus has smaller fruit, I skip this step. I just open the fruit and rub the seeds out on a paper towel. Here are all the seeds spread out on paper towels. I'll now bring these inside to let them dry out for a day or so, and then I'll consolidate all the seeds. It's now the next day, and here are the dried seeds. Most are stuck to the paper towel, but will come off pretty easily when you disturb them. I found that crumpling the paper like this will loosen most of them. I'll repeat this, then finally use my fingers to rub off the remaining stuck-on seeds. I lost a few, but was able to collect almost all of them. I look forward to growing these seeds to see if my cross resulted in any interesting characteristics. Here are all the seeds from those three fruit. As you can see, this type of cactus produces quite a bit of seed. I'll store them in this container that has an airtight lid until I'm ready to plant or share these seeds. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. Now that I have a large amount of cactus seed, I thought it would be fun to do an experiment trying out different methods of starting cactus seed to see which way works best. So stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.